hey, you can probably tell by the title that this isn't going to be like one of my normal videos. And you'd be completely right, because today we're not talking about Siege, we're talking about Sonic. No, not that Sonic. There we go. This might actually be the first time I've said it on the channel, but yes, I am actually a Sonic fan. Shadow Fan to be specific. I've watched the movie, seen the shows, pre-ordered the new game that's coming out. But imagine my surprise when my IRL friend Aiden sends me an Instagram reel talking about a Sonic the Hedgehog cafe. At first I thought, there's no way in hell this is real. Right? But then the guy in the reel said two words that instantly got my attention. In Houston. In Houston. Yeah, we were going. We didn't need to set any reservations, so Aiden and I chose July 1st, which also happened to be my brother's birthday, so he decided to tag along too, because what better way to celebrate a birthday than at a cafe that brings us back to our childhood. So, on the day that we were set to go, we picked up Aiden, Buckled up, and after a 20 minute drive, and a weird conversation that isn't Sonic related. I love how we're, we're going to a Sonic cafe, we were talking about Mario for the past 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. We arrived at the cafe, and I gotta say, walking in there for the first time felt absolutely breathtaking. I genuinely felt like a kid again. The fake grass and the checkered brown pattern almost made me feel like I was in Green Hill Zone. And the cutouts of Amy, Knuckles, Tails, and Sonic only added to the vibe. Walking up to the counter to order was just as surreal, because they had a ton of merch on sale from figurines, to motorcycle helmets, to plushies, t-shirts, to maybe these necklaces that are probably worth more than me. After ordering, we sat down at some of the themed tables. Unfortunately, they just had Shadow as a cutout in the corner, instead of giving him his own table. Me being the massive Shadow fan that I am, I ordered the Ultimate Fearless Hot Dog, the Team Dark Mocha Milkshake, and a side of onion rings. The hot dog was absolutely delicious. I loved the mix of sausage, cheese, pepperoni and bacon bits that they put together really well. The milkshake was just as good. It had a nice sweet chocolate taste that took me a good 20 to 30 minutes to finish. And the onion rings... They're all right. Both Aiden and my brother both ordered a Sonic Classic Chili Dog, with Aiden ordering the Blue Blur Slushy and my brother ordering a lemonade. Not sure if I mentioned it or not, but this cafe has some beautiful artwork, from the Green Hill mural with Sonic and his friends, to this absolute unit of a backdrop featuring promotional material for the new game Sonic X Shadow Generations. This is why Shadow is my favorite character, right here. Even the outside of the restroom was a sight to behold, with a wall all of pictures paying homage to all of the old games like Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, the Sonic Racing games, the original games from the 90s. It had it all and I was just mind blown. I'll just let you take a look. Speaking of Shadow, I ended up spending an extra $5 to get myself a Shadow Cup. Aiden was asking me if it was worth it and honestly, yes. Yes it is. W Souvenirs. Before we left, we played Sonic Superstars on the PlayStation setup they had. I was totally doing great, as you can tell. And lastly, a few weeks after we went to the cafe, I went back to get myself the Shadow the Hedgehog t-shirt, which is three times my normal shirt size, but unfortunately that was the only size they had. I originally wasn't going to buy any of the merch, but I'm a Shadow fan, I had to. Overall, I'd give this cafe a 7 out of 10. As much as I love it, what holds it back in my opinion was the prices. But I have my own little theory on that. Royalties. Royalties. But I digress. Before I go, I want to give a massive thank you to all of you for watching. I know this is completely different from what I normally upload, but I really enjoyed this experience and figured y'all would want to hear about it, so... Thank you. If any of y'all are in the Houston area and want to go to this cafe yourself, you can until August 15th. Here's the address if you're interested. On another Houston related note, I will be attending Anime Mutt City 2024 on August 10th. If any of y'all are going, look for probably the one person wearing a bandit cosplay. You can't miss them. Anyway, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.